My name's Ian, and I am a tower climber. You know, I earned that title with my blood, sweat, and tears. I earned that title. Though not too long ago, I quit the industry after uh, after finding out that I was making not making but installing a Chinese-made weapons and surveillance platform. I took a $60,000 a year pay cut and entered another field. And uh, I've been avoiding making this video. I was just never telling how far a video would go. Uh, after a couple times going viral, I'm just kind of over it. But there's some things going on in the world now that I can't I can't sit on the information and not tell you. Even though I may struggle with how to tell you. Like um Alright, so there's a there's a lot of a lot of myth and disinformation about 5G. A lot of people are scared, and rightly so. This isn't what we're used to. This is not anything like what we've got online now. Well, though, now we've got it online, and that's the issue. It's not just theoretical anymore. It's not just being installed in preparation of. It is online, and I'm being proven right, and I hate it. Because there are some communities out there that are going to feel the effects of what I installed there. Right, where do I even start? All right, so 5G is a new way of emitting radio frequency. All right. Unlike 2G, like 2G and 3G, it is directional. All right. 4G emits itself in a bubble, and it, it, your exposure to the radio frequency, which is non-ionizing radiation, um, which means that it doesn't have the strength like plutonium or uranium to knock your electrons out of the path and start mutation. Though, radio frequency has been proven by the National Institute of Health's toxicology program to be carcinogenic, and that's just a 2G, 3G. They found conclusively that it caused tumors and cancer. All right. They tested it on rats, but they proved it. $30 million two-year study, they proved it. Cell phone radiation is carcinogenic. All right. And your user manual that you got with your phone, it tells you, to keep the thing away from your body. Do not carry it on your body next to your skin. It tells you to use your phone holding it six inches away from your head. There's a reason. You know, 5G is a whole new ball game. And it emits radio frequency in a millimeter wave. Right? It's like a like a non ionizing radiation laser beam, essentially. And They've done tests on this. They they found out. They found out that there were adverse health effects from exposure to millimeter waves in the 70s. I've seen some of the documents. I've seen the studies. They found out a long time ago, which is why the military used it. They use it in a thing called the active denial system. It's a crowd control. They spray the crowd with a millimeter wave radio frequency and it causes the water molecules in your sweat glands to feel like they're boiling and the crowd disperses immediately. And this job that I love and took so much pride in had me installing similar technology in your communities and I couldn't do it anymore. I just couldn't do it anymore. And I made some videos and a lot of people were scared and rightly so. Then I was, I just kind of dropped off. Wait, but there's some things going on in the world now that I can't, 
I can't not comment on. Because in November of 2019, the Wuhan district in China brought online the world's first smart city grid. You understand? They flipped the switch, turned on their 5G network at 60 gigahertz, and within two months they've got a outbreak. Respiratory illnesses. Now here's the, here's the real interesting thing about 60 gigahertz. 60 gigahertz is absorbed by oxygen. It's an interesting part of the radio frequency spectrum. 2.4 gigahertz, the same thing as your microwave and your, your cordless phone and your home router. Those all operate right around 2.4 gigahertz. And it interacts with hydrogen molecules, which is why water boils. Because it interacts with the electrons, causes them to spin and excite. 60 gigahertz radio frequency and it's looking like somewhere around 40 gigahertz does as well interacts with oxygen molecules it's absorbed by oxygen molecules causes the electrons to spin and it makes it impossible for the body's hemoglobin to break it down and bond it to iron essentially rendering the air in the path of that laser beam unbreathable and Wuhan turned theirs on in November here in March, the world's looking at quarantine. All right, you start doing the math. The Diamond Princess, you're going to say the cruise liners. The cruise liners don't have, yeah, they sure do. The Diamond Princess was premiering a dedicated 40 gigahertz Starlink, Starlink network. They have a dedicated mid-Earth orbit satellite that follows that boat around and provides high-speed data to them. Or you start adding, start doing the math. You, Wuhan turned theirs on. Then South Korea. Italy, Milan. Milan turned theirs on. The United Kingdom turned theirs on. There's cities all across America. And if you take a look at one of the outbreak maps, and then overlay it with our 5G smart grid maps, and ding, ding, ding. Ladies and gentlemen, this technology is dangerous and it is proving me right. I'm so, I would have rather have been wrong. I would have rather have been dead wrong. But I'm being proven right. And there's so much misinformation out there and so much lack of knowledge. And none of the media agencies are speaking about this. None of them have mentioned this tie. Like, it is not coincidence. I don't believe in coincidence. I mean, there are communities here on our soil, here in America, where I installed it. And for that, I am truly sorry. I mean, no longer, I took a $60,000 a year pay cut because I believe that firmly in it. I quit. I will never be in a be put in a position where I'm going to choose money over harming my fellow American. But look, it's coming. They are going to install install small cell sites on street posts, street lamps, traffic lights, telephone poles. They are going to install hundreds of thousands of them across our country, across the nation, across the world. and not mention what it's doing to you. Look, we've got to speak up, we've got to speak out. You've got to talk to your city council, your senators, your congressmen. You've got to hashtag at real Donald Trump and let him know that you are scared and you want this technology tested and put a halt to having 5G installed. You want it shut off. Because the only way this stops, the only way the politicians and bureaucrats stop and test this technology and find out the long-term effects is if you speak up. So let me tell you what, Big Telecom has trillions invested in this. Money talks and bullshit walks. And crooked politicians will always stay crooked. God bless you. God bless your families.